Hi all folks, this is Max from droidbionicroot.com So yesterday I rooted my uh, Epic 4G Touch and I was so happy and all I had to do is find this kernel that worked and I was compiling these kernels um, but I learned a lot and uh, I broke my phone um, while doing something else, I was just trying everything but it's okay, uh, the show must go on so today we've got the Droid Bionic uh, we have uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery for Droid Bionic which means that we can now um, use Clockwork Mod Recovery to back up and restore our ROMs and uh, install new ROMs too uh, the ROM part should be coming later but um, let's install Clockwork Mod Recovery um, so there is a uh, APK file you can download Bionic Bootstrap APK download that and then you're gonna go uh, browse your file system um, download a, a app like ES File Manager like that Explorer sorry and then um, where you copied it over oops where did it go hold on sorry what happened was I copied it over to the SD card I think there's two two drives anyway I copied it uh, or to the internal storage instead of the SD card. Um, so I've got the Droid Bionic uh, Bionic Bootstrap .apk. Press on it and install. And of course, you'll have to have your uh, Droid Bionic rooted and open. And this is the first time I'm doing it. Bootstrap recovery. Hit allow. And then um, okay, success. And anytime you need to get into the recovery, um, reboot recovery. And we'll also try to do it manually, see if that works too. I'm not sure if it will. Um, it might work. <clears throat> because if we can do it manually, that's better. Whoops. What you can do is, uh, um, well, we'll do it manually. Uh, up, volume up, volume down, and then hold down the power button. And then using volume down, go down to recovery and then volume up and hopefully we have clockwork mod recovery in there or do we? no we don't uh oh oh never mind my phone's acting up but I rebooted and it works um, for others it should happen right away um, but uh, I've got in so let me make a backup real quick um, while we're at it, back up and restore, hit power button, back up, hit the power button, and then uh, this is going to back up my latest uh, rooted um, stock ROM, so I can always go back to it, it's always a great idea, it should take about 5 minutes and I'll be back, we don't have any ROMs, but you know, it's always, you know, just be ready for it, so, see you, uh, I'll be back. Hi folks, so backup is done. Um, and uh, let me show you how to use Clockwork on Recovery. Uh, let's zoom in here real quick for those of you who don't know. Um, so we've got a bunch of stuff. Uh, reboot system now applies update from SD card. Wipe data factory reset. Wipe cache partition. Install zip from SD card. Backup and restore monitor and storage. Advanced. Uh, and power off. And uh, you can go to mounts and storage. And you can go to mount USB storage and connect it to your computer then it will become a disk drive just like um, you're doing it uh, when the phone is um, rebooted it just it's better way if you want to copy files over you can just do it in clockwork mod recovery and also uh, apply update from SD card you probably never have to do that that's for uh, factory ROMs on mostly HTC ROMs not on the Bionic and also when you install ROMs you're going to use install zip from SD card and then you're gonna go to uh, choose it from SD card and also there's option where you can toggle signature verification if the ROM that you you're trying to install doesn't have signature verification you'll have to turn that off uh, sometimes you might have to do it twice make sure it's off and then zip um, your files and you can also uh, zip kernels and uh, apps files and lots of stuff uh, installs it from zip from SD card that's what it is and back up and restore I just backed it up so I can go to restore and I can restore um, that one if I want to which has my date on it and uh, you can 
actually load a bunch of ROMs later and, you know, use the backup and restore and have like five, six different ROMs and then switch on the go. That's how I do it. And also, you'll probably want to do wipe data factory reset. This will only erase the operating system. It will erase all the, um, your personal settings and stuff. Um, that's, you know, you can do that after you unroot or um, if you're installing a new ROM. And also, cache, wipe cache partition. Sometimes you might have to do it. Um, some ROMs, they have trouble with cache and you can do that. It, it doesn't harm anything to, um, it just cache. And advanced, um, you got uh, wipe Dolby cache. That's another thing um, that can you know, affect ROMs and you can also wipe battery status. Sometimes what happens is when you install new ROMs and if you don't clear the battery status, it's going to think it has like, you know, less battery while you actually have more battery. Um, there's other stuff, but you don't have to mix it, uh, mess with that. You can also partition your SD card at extension 4 for fast faster file system but um, I think your ROM has to actually support that. Anyway that's how you install a Clockwork Mod Recovery on your Droid Bionic and also how to backup restore ROMs and also how to use uh, CWM. Um, so thanks y'all and subscribe we'll have more stuff at uh, droidbionicroot.com. Alright, later.